Hi everyone, I am Ramkumar Rajendran. This is the introduction video to learning analytics tools course. Due to huge amount of data that is uh, from web 2.0, we generate a lot of data, we also consume a lot of data in uh, office also in personal use. For example, there are 1.66 billion daily active users in Facebook or 55 million pictures are uploaded every day in Instagram. So with this huge data which we produce also we consume, can we do something with this huge data? Yes, there are some organizations using this data to extract meaningful value and uh, use this value to make uh, recommendations to the users and uh, reduce the users work. For example, video streaming websites like Netflix or uh, Prime Video analyze the data of their viewers and watching pattern and uh, the likes, dislikes, what is the popular show, uh, which part of the show they like it, all this information is used to recommend the next set of videos for the users. Also interestingly, Netflix has started uh, using these data to inform the directors to make what kind of videos are most popular among the viewers so that they can make a successful TV shows or TV series or the movies. Maybe in future uh, we might use big data of DNA to determine the perfect treatment to cure uh, disease like cancer uh, by using data not from a medical professional. Maybe medical professional plus a data engineer can create a, a cure for cancer. Okay, that's interesting. Similar to the other domain, in education domain also we produce lot of data, right? Uh, for example, we have Moodle uh, learning management systems like Moodle Blackboard or we use Google, uh, Google Classroom or uh, we are uh, using MOOCs to learn many things. And also there are a lot of other softwares uh, for library management, content management, uh, for the maintaining the schools or college. So which means we produce a lot of data in educational domain also. Can we use these data to provide some meaningful information to improve the teaching learning process? That is the focus of this course. So what we do in this course, we will start with the data collection from different learning environments. For example, a classroom environment or in the MOOC or in a um, intelligent tutoring systems, what data to collect, how to collect such data. Then we will talk about how to process this data in a specific format. Then we move on to use tools such as Excel, Weka, uh, Excel is a proprietary software yeah, you can use um, Google Sheet or some other uh, open source version equivalent to Excel. Weka is a machine learning tool developed by University of Waikato New Zealand, uh, free for academic and commercial usage. Orange is similar ML tool but is for commercial software. Orange is however free for academic usage. Then we also talk about tools like a process mining, pattern miner and ISAT. In this course, you will apply these tools on the data collected from the learning environments. Also we will talk about some of the ML algorithms like a linear regression classification algorithms. And in this course you will do 4 to 5 mini projects in 12 weeks. Uh, this is to get hands on experience of using these tools using the learners data or created in the learning environment. So who are the audience for this course? So teachers with interest in understanding learner and they want to improve the teaching learning strategies, this course will be useful. Also for students who are interested in analytics, also in educational data, also they want to start a wonderful career in data science, this can be the introduction course. Employees in ed tech sector, um, the employees who are working in education industries, uh, this course might be useful. So what is the prerequisite? I mentioned that this course has ML algorithms, some tools, but absolutely this course has no prerequisite, which means any, anyone can take this course and we do not expect you to have a programming skill. However, if you want to collect your own data and convert them into a features uh, which is applicable to ML tools, we expect you to know some uh, scripting language or uh, simple coding uh, in a script language like a Python or, or uh, JavaScript. But it is not necessary to complete this course. Knowledge on basic mathematics is essential to understand the machine learning algorithms. If you understand the machine learning algorithms, it will help you to use the tool effectively and create a models, uh, uh, more meaningful models. Thank you.